everyone and welcome back to Mommy Talk. What are those? This is where I like to talk about my life and all things mommy. Today I wanted to do a video on what is in my kids Easter baskets. I know I'm getting this video out a little bit late because Easter is literally tomorrow or probably today when I post this. So happy Easter everyone. But I still wanted to go ahead and film this video just, so, just in case anyone's looking for any last minute ideas or maybe you're looking for ideas for next year or just in case you really like videos of what's inside my kids Easter baskets. I have each item placed into five piles right now, one for each kid. So the thing that I like to do in these situations that requires me to get all of the kids something at the same time like Easter baskets or Christmas presents, I like to get them all like basically the same thing but like maybe just a little bit different that way they can each have like their own unique thing but also at the same time like they're not gonna fight over it or they don't feel like anything's unfair that's just the way that I like to handle it so um, a lot of what you're gonna see is kind of like a repetitive thing but I still wanted to like show off what I got for my kids for Easter so I'm gonna go ahead and start from oldest to youngest so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Parker's pile and the, so the first thing that I want to show off is this little thing that I got from Amazon and Parker is 10 years old now, so this pr might be a little bit too young for him, but I'm not super worried about it because I still think it's going to be super fun. As you can see on the box, they had one in both blue and pink, um, but the only color I could find on Amazon was purple. And so basically it's this little cup right here and it comes with its own like twisty straw, okay? And then you stick it inside here. You stick it inside here, okay? And then when you suck on it, it makes the water come out of the little blow hole in the whale. So it's kind of like when kids like blow through their straw to make bubbles in their drinks. This kind of does the same thing except it, it encourages you to suck, not to blow. So when you suck on it, the, the water comes splashing like a fountain outside of the blowhole of the whale inside and they're all the same color, they're all purple, but I got one for each of the kids. The next thing that I got for the boys is some heavy duty gardening gloves. I actually got garden gloves for the boys like last year, the year before that, but I believe that they just came from like the dollar store or they were something really cheap that I bought off Amazon like in a package because I was like, oh, I can save money by getting four pairs at once. But I basically got what I paid for and the gardening gloves that I bought in the past just did not hold up. And so I really decided to go for quality over quantity this time and buy each of the kids their own separate pair of heavy duty garden gloves because we are are so excited to do some gardening this year. I have a plot of land out in my backyard that I've already designated as our future garden and I can't wait for the boys to help me out with that. So the next thing in the Easter basket is pretty neat and I'm hoping that it's open-ended enough that the kids will use their imagination to utilize it and play with it. So there was five of these that came in the box. Luckily for me they each came individually wrapped in like their own little bag so I'll go ahead and show you that in a minute but I'm so excited I don't know if you can see here like on the box so it's basically just these different kinds of figurines that you can use in nature to basically take anything in nature and create your own like nature figurines with them. So I'm gonna have them use them outside. They can use flowers, they can use sticks, they can do, use twigs, they can use anything that their imagination requires. I live a very Montessori slash Waldorf kind of inspired life. That's kind of like what, what my parenting style is. So I just really love anything that's like really open-ended or STEM or anything like that. So anyway, I'm gonna stop blathering on. Um, and show you what this one is. So this one is the whale. It's really, really heavy. Um, I think it's made out of wood actually, which kind of goes with the whole Montessori thing because Montessori, and I think Waldorf is like this too, but definitely Montessori very much encourages like natural materials. So this is made out of wood. It's very like heavy duty and you can see like all the different holes inside of the figurine to basically make whatever you want. Or maybe this is, I'm sorry, this isn't a whale, this is an elephant. So you can use like sticks here to make like legs. You can put something on either side of this for the ears. So basically just anything you want, or maybe they could use that as a whale. Who knows, their creativity is limitless. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in the little brown package that it came in and then just stick it right in their Easter basket. Okay, the next thing that I bought for Parker for his Easter basket, it's actually a little bit bigger than I anticipated, but back for Christmas, they each got from a very dear friend of mine, something called Paint by Sticker. This was something that she got for the kids based off my suggestion, but then she bought it for them. And it ended up being one of the best gifts that they got for Christmas and lasted for so long. When they went through it, they were really sad once they were all finished with the book that I decided to go ahead and do this again for their Easter baskets. So I'm really excited. This is a pretty big one. Parker needed one that was a little bit more challenging. So I decided to get one, him one that's more like an adult one because he can he can fine tune like the finer little tiny stickers. But it's basically what you know as like a color by number but instead of using colors, you use stickers, which if you know kids, 
you know that they love stickers. And so if you can see here, it's got every, I mean, it's very intricate. And then it creates these really artistic looking pictures when they are all finished with it. Dif just different styles, so I'll show, go ahead and show you. These are some of the stickers in the back here. So they each have their own number. And as you can see, they're quite intricate. They're quite, some of them are quite small. And then they create these beautiful portraits when the kids are done with them. So, so I'm excited to give them these again. And then the next couple things are just a couple things that I picked up from the dollar store because dollar store is one of my favorite things in the world and you can't have an Easter basket without having some sort of dollar store toy. So I decided to get them these cyclone like pulley things which are just super 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 fun. They're gonna love playing with these in our backyard. And then I thought getting them some sun catchers would be really fun to paint and hang up in our windows. Whenever Easter comes around I really want to try and keep with like the Easter or spring kind of theme. That's not always possible and again it wasn't possible with this. I wanted to try and do this with the sun catchers. A couple of the other ones are spring themed which I will show you in a minute here. This one obviously is a little bit more fall themed but they didn't have that many selections so they, all, they had exactly four things to select from. So it worked out for me that I had enough for each kid to have one. However, I had to go ahead and just surrender to the fact that this is like more of a fall looking sun catcher, but that's okay. Still really cute. And then the last thing I got in his Easter basket is something that the kids were talking about quite a while ago. Something that they were they thought would be really cool that they've never tried, but they saw on Ryan's toy review. And if you are watching me and you're a mom, you probably know exactly what that is. So Ryan's toy review was reviewing Pop Rocks and they really wanted to try Pop Rocks. So I got them a couple bags of Pop Rocks. Okay, so that's it for Parker's basket. Shaden and Lyric and Zuko's basket are essentially the same thing, but maybe just a little bit different. So I'm just gonna kind of speed through the rest of these just because I basically explained all of the different products in Parker's basket. So I'm just gonna kind of speed through the next few baskets and just kind of show off the products. Alright, so now that I've gotten through all four of the boys' stuff, like I said, pretty much all the same things except maybe just a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and go through Reset's things because she got a couple of the same things, but most of her stuff is like all different because obviously she is in a different age and stage of her life, so her things are gonna be a little bit different because she can't do things like paint or, um, you know, put stickers on papers or garden or anything like that. So hers is gonna be just a little bit different, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you off what is in her Easter basket as well. So she did get one of the sippy cup things that um, the rest of the boys did because she is able to drink from a little straw cup. So she did get the same exact cup that the boys did as well. So that is something that is similar. So they all five got one of those. And then I went ahead and got her something that was inspired by a job that I used to work at. So I used to work in a toddler house for a Montessori school. They had this on the shelf one year and all of the kids that were in the toddler house were super drawn to it because it makes the exact noise of the bird that it is modeled after. So this is a, um, this is a cardinal obviously. So if you press here on the back. Obviously, it makes the exact bird call that it's modeled after. So this one is a goldfinch, so it's gonna make a goldfinch sound. And then this one is a chickadee. So they don't just make like any random old bird noises, they actually make the exact same bird noise that they are modeled after. And now that I've said that three or four times, and I'm probably going to take them out of the box that they're in. I'm just leaving it in there just for 
right this second because it's just keeping them all together. But tomorrow when I load up their Easter baskets, I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the box and just stick them right in her Easter basket. So as you can see, this is made by Wild Birds or Audubon. Audubon Birds, sorry, I don't know which the company is called, Audubon? Audubon Birds with Real Bird Calls. So I'm super excited to give this to her because like I said, when I worked in that toddler house at the Montessori school, all of the toddlers just absolutely loved the birds. They actually had quite a few more in their collection. Just these three were already kind of a little bit pricey just to get, so I only got one box at a time, but I might add more to the collection later, depending on how drawn she is to them or not. She also got one of the little locomo toys. And she got this little bunny one, as you can see. So it's got a place for the for the ears and a place for the tail that you can make out of nature. I don't know how much she's gonna actually play with it, but five did come in a package, so I figured I could just put one in each of the kids' Easter baskets. The next thing that is in her Easter basket is this bunny shirt I'm going to stick in her Easter basket. I thought this was so cute. You're actually gonna see this in probably two of my videos if you haven't already, but this came in a Pat Pat order that I got from online. I decided it would make a really cute Easter basket stuffer for Easter tomorrow. So she has an Easter dress that she is going to wear tomorrow, but this is her backup outfit in case, or I should shouldn't even say in case, but inevitably when she dirties up her dress or she needs to just chain out, change out of it because it is quite a fluffy dress. Obviously at some point she's going to need to change into more like comfier clothes. So this is going to be something that she can wear tomorrow for Easter and beyond. The next thing that is going to be in her Easter basket clothing wise is going to be this little t-shirt and there is a story behind this. As you can see, it's got a red puzzle piece with the words love on it. I got one for myself that has a heart with a missing puzzle piece that says love as well. And a dear friend of mine actually made this um, for me and modeled after. I, sh I showed her something that was very similar, just the concept of it that I thought was so cute and I sent the picture to her. So I decided to put it in Reset's Easter basket and then we can be matching for, um, not Easter, but for something else. Okay, and the next couple things kind of go together. I don't think that they go together on purpose, but I happen to see them like at the same exact time and decided to order them together because I thought that it was super cute and I thought that she would really enjoy this. The first thing is a book called Counting with a Ladybug. It's got kind of like the sensorial like feeling right here. It's got like texture to it. Um, same with this, it like kind of, you just kind of follow along and the pages have like that texture, um, texture to it that's like kind of more of like a touch and feel book and then I just happened to see this learning toy that is kind of like Montessori inspired very open-ended toy called counting ladybugs and it's basically this little pouch Let's see if I can open it up so cute I haven't actually even opened this up yet but it's got this cute little pouch this is adorable actually this is even cuter than I thought it was going to be so it's got this little purse bag thing that you unzip and then inside you've got a bunch of wooden ladybugs that have like the numbers on the back and the corresponding dots on the front. So this one's eight, so it's got eight spots. This one is four, so it's got four spots on the back. And so basically it's just like a counting game with these wooden ladybugs and I thought this was just too cute and it is very spring oriented. I really think that she's going to like it. It's got these cute little daisies all over the place and then she can just kind of carry it around with her if she wants. So. Super, super cute. I can't wait to add that to her shelf. I think she's really gonna like it. And then it kind of just goes along with the book. <laughs> How neat is that? So um, I totally did this on purpose, but I don't think that these were meant to be um, put together on purpose. So I thought that it was kind of neat that they both just corresponded that way. The last couple things that I have to put in her Easter basket is again, just kind of sticking with the spring theme. I've got this touch and feel numbers book and it's got baby chicks on the front, which obviously is very much, um, you know, spring oriented. So it's got, you know, textures and stuff that she can feel inside. And then the last thing is I've got, again, keeping with the Easter spring theme, I've got some matching eggs that she can put together that comes in, in its own little plastic carton. And as you can see, they kind of break apart and then you can use them to match the shapes together. Ironically, I already have a toy. That was weird, okay. Ironically, I already have a toy that's pretty similar to this. It's a smaller carton that only comes with six eggs and the egg tops come off and they correspond to color and then they squeak if you push it down. So, and that's one of her most favorite toys. That is what is in her Easter basket. I'm just super excited to give all of the kids their Easter baskets tomorrow. I try really hard not to make Easter like a second Christmas, but the other hand, <laughs> 
I always like want to go over just overboard just like a little bit just because like I want to give my kids the world and I want to give them everything and I'm like oh that'd be fun oh that'd be fun oh that'd be fun so I'm also going to stick in some odds and ends candy that I bought from the store a little while ago so there's just like some chocolate bunnies and some you know chocolate eggs and some carrot candy egg things you know just a just a bunch of like Easter themed candy that they'll be um, I'll be trickling in to their Easter baskets as well <sighs> that I'll be trickling into their Easter baskets as well, but I didn't feel like showing off like what chocolates I got for the for the kids. Um, obviously, Reset won't have like any candy, but that's why she gets a little, a couple extra, um, I think she has a little bit, couple extra items than the boys compared to the boys, but that's because she doesn't get candy, so. <laughs> so that is what is in my kids' Easter baskets this year. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and got some ideas of your own. Again, I'm sorry I'm getting this video out so late. I will try to be a little bit better about that next year. It is a little hard to come up with ideas so some of these actually just came in the mail like a day or two ago so um, <laughs> it's a little bit hard to come up with ideas for five kids every single year without getting them the same thing like over and over and over again I try to get them like new and fun and exciting things just to kind of keep it fresh hopefully you guys got inspired for your own Easter baskets hopefully this gives you inspiration for next year or if you're doing Easter a little bit late you know and you're looking for last-minute ideas this will be the video for you thank you so much for watching make sure you're giving Make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are leaving comments down in the comment section down below, letting me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Make sure you are subscribing if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye guys.